Ding dong, the witch is dead, the witch is dead, the witch is dead. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I figured that it was kind of appropriate considering that fascism was just dealt a huge fucking blow. As you probably already know or are waking up to the idea, the Supreme Court of the United States, also known acronymically as SCOTUS, ruled in favor of marriage equality this morning on June 26, 2015. Now, this is definitely a huge moment. Now, the, obviously, it's a triumphant victory. It's wonderful. It's great. You know, all that bourgeois crap. All that bourgeois crap. But ultimately, the, the fight's not over. This is just a huge hurdle, a huge battle that needed to be won. And it opens the doors for a lot of other things. The problem is, is that the, the, the war is not against fascists and everything else is not over. Obviously, there's going to be anti-gay uh, activists that are going to be coming out, that are going to be hounding on this, that are going to be bitching. You know, in fact, it already has. The Texas governor has already uh, stated that that he's going to deadlock it, pretty much. He's, he's stating that, uh, pretty much going out on a limb and stating that, that he, he, he pretty much goes out and denounces the entire Supreme Court ruling. S you know, stating that he does not have, pretty much arrogantly believing that he does not have to abide by it. The same rule seemed to uh, seem, you know, that same twisted logic seems to be stuck in the minds of the Attorney General of Louisiana, who does not believe that that gay marriages need to begin immediately, because he believes that the ruling did not say anything that it had to begin effective immediately, as well as the fact that he believes that it's something he's denounced it, saying saying the ruling was you know something that should be entirely a state's issue. Now, the problem with that logic is is that y you do have a right to your own state's rights, but state's rights has a limit. It does not guarantee you the right to fucking infringe upon the constitutional, civil, and human rights of other people. Regardless of whether you view them as equals to you is not relevant. They are human beings, and they deserve to be treated as equals. So therefore, the fact that you're still discriminating against them and this ruling has done nothing to sway you is really fucking pathetic. It's really fucking pathetic that any right winger is so damn stubborn and arrogant that they're going to actually, you know, stand by saying, well, we're not going to recognize it. Well, you have no choice. The Supreme Court is the law of the land. It is the supreme judicial authority. Nothing can supersede it. You have been dealt a ruling. Your cards have been dealt. You got the hand you were dealt. Now deal with it. That is all I really have to say about that to the right-wingers. Deal with it. You lost. Admit defeat. Resistance is futile. Go fuck yourself. Accept that this is the law of the land. It does not mean that you have to support it because you're, if you believe that because of your backwards religious views, that's your opinion. That's your personal view, but that does not mean that you have the right to exercise it on other people. And it certainly does not belong in the political field. You lost. Get over it. Gay marriage is now law of the land. Marriage equality is now legal in all 50 states now. The ruling has been dealt. Marriage equality must be given out. Gay marriages must be recognized. This is a triumphant victory for anybody that has been that is of the LGBT community or any of their allies and supporters and activists. I myself, who have been an activist for several years on this issue, am greatly satisfied. One, because it's dealt a huge blow to the fascists who are now bitching their, their ever-loving minds out and having a fucking aneurysm, but also the fact that it's just a triumphant victory for a issue that I have been fighting for for so long. And to actually finally see it come to life is just amazing. You know, it proves that my donations to 
organizations that my fight and membership in a lot of different groups and stuff like that to make sure that marriage equality actually is, you know, becomes a reality was not in vain. And so now I can proudly say that if I ever have kids, grandkids, and all that stuff that one day, that yes, I was part of a movement that succeeded and gained great strides in helping people gain their equal human rights. Or at least get, gain one step further towards their equal rights. And as an activist, as a supporter of the LGBT plus community, I will continue to show my support for the LGBT plus community. And I will continue to donate and continue to fight for their equal rights under the law. I will make sure that they will become equals to their straight counterparts. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, praising the SCOTUS ruling today. Fuck the fascists. This has been NorCal Corner. Peace. You can take your world.